Y'all get ready. Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So I wanna come on here and talk about the whole Duchess situation. If you guys don't know, Duchess Lattimore used to be on the show Black Ink. She was Caesar's girlfriend. And so recently she did an interview with the Sister Circle. And during that interview, she admitted that after she left the show, she felt suicidal and she wanted to kill herself. She said she dealt with a lot of bullying, people calling her shop, cussing out her mother. You know, her just going through a lot of stuff. And she was just really upset and she was venting to the Sister Circle. I'm gonna go ahead and play you guys a snippet of what Duchess had to say on the show. Check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. When I first walked away from the show, I wanted to kill myself. Oh my God. I went through serious depression. Wow. I went through getting harassment from cast members, death threats from them, people that they would send to, to do disrespectful things. They would call my shop and my mom runs, she runs my tattoo shop tell my mother like the most heinous things that they were going to do to me if I ever came back to New York and all of these things. It got to a point where I didn't think that I would ever escape it. What? Oh and this God, is, this is two and a half years ago, right. mind you. Then the new season of the show airs. Yes. And I'm the topic of discussion. Yes. And you're not even there. Every episode and I'm not even there. Mm -hmm. So it's like once I went through the depression at home by myself. Now y'all want me to go through public humiliation because you don't have a storyline? The show wasn't in line and in tune with the person that is conducive to the woman that I am supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And I had to learn that the hard way. Yeah. Um, I was around people First off, I'm from North Carolina. I'm the only person that's not from New York right, that was right. on the show. So mm -hmm. that already makes me an outlier. Then I'm a black woman who's in a male-dominated industry, mm -hmm. being a tattoo artist. Then I'm an HBCU graduate. Come on, HBCU. Aggie pride. <laughs> Come on, Aggies. So I'm the only college graduate in the bunch. Mm -hmm. Wow, wow. I'm the only bunch that comes, I'm the only one in the bunch that comes from a two-parent home. Mm -hmm. All of these dynamics, all of these things don't match the environment that I was a I part understand. of. Now, let me go ahead and be honest with y'all, okay? First of all, I do like Duchess. I think she's a beautiful girl. And I do agree that she's very artistic. She's very smart. But I'm not going to, it's hard for me to feed into her tattoo tears. And I mean this literally because she does tattoos, okay? It's hard for me to really feed into her tattoo tears because... For so many years on this show, you know, she was just as guilty as the same people that she's trying to talk down about. You know, she's talking about she came from a two-parent household. She went to college. She has her degree. And she really had no business hanging with these people. She should have known that from day one. From day one, she never really fit in with these people. But again, because she was worried about getting fame and notoriety, she was willing to sell her soul to be on Ratchet Television. Facebook, it's your girl Duchess, and y'all already know the show is coming back on April 4th. I just did a car wheel for y'all, and I'm old as shit, so you better be tuning in for that car wheel, because I just put in some work for y'all. I want to fight that bitch. When did I say that was hard? All you do is talk. I ain't talking to no friend. The only thing I did was tell the truth. tattoo artist that makes way more money than you could ever make even in black ink baby please know that i see how much money every person makes in this shop and you're not the breadwinner baby So what's up with you? No, I, I have nothing to say to you. Don't touch. Don't what? Bitch. 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 Don't what, bitch. Conversation that my part of. Huh? Donna said you a kill. 
It wasn't a kill. It was an attempt. And it was an unwanted attempt. The fact that you took advantage of me in a moment of weakness because you are a thirst trap bitch that don't know how to control yourself sexually, that's what I have a problem with. Since I met Dutcher, she always let me touch her butt, grab her boob, like, I sit her down on my lap. Like, I touch Duchess when I want to. She always pretends to be such a angel, like nothing ever freaky could happen with Duchess. That's a lie. And this is right here where it's about to turn into a nasty situation because you don't, don't care. Wanna... Donna, I care. I, so so I feel baby. like that's what you've okay. done. No, and I, I have the right to feel like that. Everybody has lesbian experience. I'm not no la it's this not a big deal. Baby, what was, so what, so what was the truth? She said she rolled y'all level with <laughs> like it was on Thanksgiving. I told you to get off of me. And you didn't have to tell me to get off of you because I was already off you. Good, because nobody wanted you on them. Once I find out what you <laughs> like, and <laughs> I moved on. I was taken advantage of by a thought while I was drunk. Baby, my <laughs> You don't got a job, bitch. You ain't got no job, bitch. Like, girl, just because I'm so mad and I can't get to Duchess, I will smack the out of you. Blend your weed, baby. Blend your weed, baby. Where are you scared, bitch? Where's Zaddy at? Get ready to jump on that girl. My sister. No, 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 so this like whack that. bitch thinks she's fucking tough. You wanna jump me with four bitches? Bitch, all y'all did was mess up my motherfucking hair. Face still ain't not a scratch on it. So when I see you, bitch, you better fucking be ready. Cause it's tough time now, bitch. Now as of late, Duchess is not missing anything from being on Black Ink. Black Ink is literally the joke of reality television. Nobody goes on that show to get tattoos. It's all about sex and, you know, impregnating multiple women. All these chicks are just out here getting pregnant. Sky, you know, she didn't even take care of her two kids. And she's out here trying to, you know, find some sperm from a gay man. I mean, the show and the storyline is just disgusting at this point. You know, if they're not fighting and, and you know, throwing blows and, and just being disrespectful to each other. Oh, oh shit, and his damn harama baby mamas and all these damn kids he keeps having. What's going on? Oh, I heard that people talking saying that my child is not my child. And if I hear that come out of anybody's mouth, I swear to God, I'll smack fire out of their mouth. Bro. No, I don't want nobody disrespecting my wife like that ever. Now, I'll tell you the group. It was Jada, it was Donna, it was mother Vagina Slayer. They was over there. Uh, bitches was in the group as well. What, me? When I walked off from y'all? You was in the group, baby. When I walked off? You was talking all the same Y'all don't got nothing else to do but worry about somebody's business. When I noticed that you guys were doing that, what did I do, bitch? Uh, I walked off. Don't bitch, walk up to me, guys. Don't bitch, walk up to me. Bitch, don't f***ing play me. Sky, don't f***ing play me. Bitch, no. bitch no. I will beat your f***ing ass. Don't play no. I don't want to go. I'm so over this show and the direction that it's gone into. It's nothing about tattoos. It's nothing about the backstory. It's just about getting drunk, having sex, and a bunch of foolishness. And I understand that Duchess is grown and she's pulled away from the show, but she can't act innocent like she wasn't involved in the fuckery, like she didn't allow the producers to play her. Um, it was because of Duchess that Sassy and Puma left the show. Everybody got into it with Duchess at one point in time. She was just as messy. She was just as vulgar. The way she carried herself on the show, she acted like she didn't come from a two-parent household. She acted like she didn't have a degree. She acted like she wasn't a smart woman. She dumbed down her attributes and who she was as a real person to be on television. And this is what happens when you sell your soul to be on television, when you take on roles that are unbecoming of you. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like a lot of her guilt wasn't so much the cast bullying her and people calling the shop. A lot of the guilt that she feels is the fact that she knew she was better than that, but she chose to stoop that low just to get a check. And that's why I always tell people, our money is not good money. You know what I'm saying? You need to really weigh out the options and see if this is something that's really worth it for you. Because at the end of the day, you don't control the storyline. You don't control the editing. And however the editors want to make you look is how they're going to make you look. Including whatever you say on camera will be used against you as well. Uh, after yeah. all of this drama with Duchess going on the sister circle, of course, all of her fans and, you know, people started going to Caesar's page and going off on him. And it was just a bunch of drama on social media so Caesar finally responded to the foolishness and so Caesar took to Instagram and he basically posted a liar story always change 
I hate how he wrote it that, but that's what he had to say, okay? Now, on top of that, Teddy, who's Caesar's cousin on the show, um, Teddy Rux, um, he posted a picture on his Instagram, and he says, Black Ink Charlotte coming soon. Then he says, knock, knock, I'm at your neighbor's house. Straight cash. I brought your neighbor out. You should come to the housewarming. Come and see what your neighbor bought. Good morning, world. And then Caesar comes on there, and he replies, she must have forgot who the boss is, 100. So basically, to spite her, you know what I'm saying, they went and bought a tattoo shop right next to Duchess in Charlotte. So this, to me, is so crazy. And now her mom is on social media popping off. She went off on Instagram Live. So I want you guys to watch this video of her mother, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. We don't care about Black Ink coming to Charlotte. Duchess' dad is waiting on C's to come to Charlotte. Please come. insane. Please come to Charlotte, sweetie. <laughs> like, we're good in here. We will bake you a cake and bring it to you. Uh -huh. Like the good Southern women that we are. <laughs> Do you know how many tattoo shops is in Charlotte? Okay. We don't care. We don't hate on nobody. Okay. To each his own. I just want you to leave my daughter alone and quit dragging her. Because she ain't bothering you and she ain't studying you. But if you keep on bothering her when you get to Charlotte, her dad is going to drag your ass. <laughs> All right, so you guys just seen her mom popping off. So like I said, this entire situation is crazy to me. I would not be surprised if all of this is being done to drum up a new storyline, if Duchess was coming back on the show. It's going to be very interesting to see how all this foolishness plays out. You know, so her trying to play victim all of a sudden, to me, doesn't really sit well with me because she engaged in a lot of fuckery during the five seasons of this show. You know, granted, she hasn't been on the show now for the past two years, but a lot of the stuff that she perpetuated, that she put out there, she has to face that in the mirror. She has to look at herself. You just look right in here, uh -huh. look in there, and you see that you're doing too much and ask herself why she chose to continuously be on this show, be a girlfriend to Caesar, who's played her and just is just very disrespectful to women in general on that show, you know, as far as how he treats women, him sleeping with Kitty and sleeping with other women, you know, and then the baby mama's there. And I mean, it's just a bunch of mess. I just can't keep it with this show any longer. You know, if it happens to be on, I'll watch it, but I'm not running to go see what, you know, what's going on on Black Ink today. You know, and I'm surprised the show has lasted as long as it has lasted. But I think Duchess leaving the show was a good thing for her. I'm glad she decided to start fresh. And I'm glad that, you know, her shop is doing well. And I'm glad that, you know, she's becoming her regular self. And she's letting that TV personality go. But I think at the end of the day, it's very easy to sit there and blame everybody else. I think she needs to look at herself and see what role she played in the matter as well. But I also am glad that she did not go the suicidal route and take her life. And I'm glad that she was able to snap out of that. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not that serious. This is nothing that she needed to kill herself over but I hope people take her story as a lesson on what not to do and to realize that you know just because you're on television and you're getting fame that same level of fame can come back to bite you in the ass it can come back to haunt you it can come back to ruin you ruin relationships ruin your business and ruin future things that you have going for yourself you know what I'm saying so a lot of girls need to take that into consideration before they go lining up to be on these reality television shows so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts in this entire situation concerning Duchess, formerly of Black Ink, basically telling her story to Sister Circle and saying, you know, how she was bullied and how she was suicidal. You know, how do you feel about what Duchess had to say? And then do you agree with me that Duchess also played a part in a lot of the stuff that she went through because she allowed these producers to, you know, to use her to make up a storyline? You know, she was cool with it when she was getting that check, but now that she left the show, now she's trying to throw everybody under the bus as if she didn't play a role in all of this stuff that happened on the show as well. So let's Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces. Miss Kay! <laughs>you guys it's your girl t make sure to subscribe like and share my videos you can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise also don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos talk to y'all later deuces